From the station with the most local news in our West Michigan, Fox 17 News at 10 starts right now. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I'm Josh Berry. And I'm Jamie Sherrod. First at 10, there's a big need for housing in West Michigan. And in Grand Rapids, the numbers show the city is not hitting its set mark. The city set a goal in 2020 to add a total of 9,000 units by 2025, including everything across the board from apartments to single family homes. But right now, the city has just barely crossed the 1,000 mark. Fox 17's Matt Whitcoast joins us live with a closer look at those stats. Matt? Yeah, so what those numbers are when we talk about that 1,000 uh, units of uh, homes available here in the city, those are turnkey ready units. Now, we're standing in front of here in Studio Park where they have apartments, and there's projects like this one that the city wants you to know about that's going to increase housing here in the city. Grand Rapids has a housing need. We were going to need at all price points, all kinds of house, all types of housing, about another 9,000 units by 2025. So a strategic plan is in place to get us there. So we were hoping um, to get to about 1,100 new units a year. Again, some affordable, some market rate across all uh, types of housing. We are finding ourselves a little bit under that target right now. New data published by the city shows this year's numbers is less than half of that, just 521. Seeing ourselves as falling short of that target, again, I think it's partially because of the cost of construction. So we've seen construction materials so expensive that it is harder for projects to make sense economically. The same goes for the number of new affordable housing. The city wants to be at 500 per year, but the latest data shows the current mark is at 350. There are some larger um, affordable housing projects that again are out there trying to find uh, usually affordable housing projects take a couple years to get fully funded. They need to go through some tax credit rounds and some various uh, ways. To help with that, the city also has American Rescue Plan funds. Deputy City Manager Kate Barron says they're using $5 million towards generating some affordable housing to get them closer to the goal of 9,000 units in the next three years, adding that right now and an additional 1,000 units are in development. But we're continuing to dig in there and try to find ways that we are continuing to generate the units that we're going to need to accommodate our growth. Fox 17 told you in March about a plan that would allow any property owner to sell portions of their lots if it meets certain criteria to increase housing. Recently, the city approved of that measure. It did clear the way for infill development, so sort of think somebody has a large yard mm -hmm. that's large enough to fit another structure on it. This makes it easy for them to do that. And hopefully easier for more people to call Grand Rapids home. We have a safety net in place for the most vulnerable citizens, um, but I, I know that this community has r risen to the challenge in the past. Now, the city did recently make some changes to rezoning measures. The city has now allowed uh, property owners to, for those mixed use buildings, if there is available space on the first floor, to change that into livable space. Reporting live here in Grand Rapids, I'm Matt Whitkos, Fox 17 News.